Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel where we talk about all things K-pop, including news, reviews, and theories. If you're into all of that, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you never miss a video. So today's news is going to be about Ollie London. He just dropped a teaser for a new music video and reactions are very polarized. Self-proclaimed K-pop star and reality TV personality, Ollie London, has long been a topic of debate among K-pop fans. He's very well known for his affinity for BTS's Jimin and his desire to look like him. He has spent over $150,000 on surgery to meet this goal. Now he's gone through at least 15 fairly drastic surgeries and has appeared on a variety of TV shows such as E, Botched, Dr. Phil, and Today's Show Australia to talk about himself and his aspirations. London also, however, seems to desire to follow in his idol's career goals and has released a couple of music videos with his newest release, Mirror Mirror, being his fourth. He recently came out with the single for an upcoming teaser. Ollie's desire to break into the K-pop industry has been heavily criticized since his first release, Perfection, in 2019, though the song hit number 31 on iTunes' K-pop chart and the music video received over 1.2 million views. His second and third releases, Butterfly and Heart of Korea, peaked at number 8 on the chart. So he's pretty... He gets his I mean, views. Yeah. Yeah. The message behind his new song addresses his haters and tells them to turn the mirror towards themselves and examine their own reflection. If it's anything like his past three music videos, it's sure to cause a stir in the K-pop community, though not likely a positive one given the massive amount of dislikes and scathing comments already posted on the teaser. Mirror Mirror is set to release on March 1st. Hmm. Well, he has a point. Um... I don't know him beyond the news of his, his surgeries and everything like that. Um, I've never mu listened to any of his music, but... Um, I would say that if he really does want to follow in the footsteps of his idol Jimin, instead of focusing on haters, then focus on the message of like loving oneself, self-empowerment, um, self-acceptance. Mm. Um, spread those type of messages. But there was a video where they did address their haters. Oh, <laughs> Well, it was funny. It was though. mic drop. Yeah. yeah, it was funny. So I mean, I guess he is kind of following their footsteps. <laughs> I don't know what to say either. Um, I hope the music is actually good, but like it, I mean, it seems to trend. Yeah, it um, gets his views. I'm surprised. Yeah, me too. I was, I didn't know that he peaked at number eight That's, on the charts. That is really good. That is an accomplishment. See, any publicity is really good publicity in the end. I think we. I think I will check out his song just because I'm curious. I don't like to um, to just prejudge people without no like I don't know um, how talented he is mm -hmm. uh, vocally or 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 how he can like if he can dance or anything like that. But I would be um, impressed if he actually has those skills. His aesthetic is not something that I would be watching for, unfortunately, because I I do feel like well I don't even. I feel like with plastic surgery, uh -huh. first of all, I don't care if somebody wants to do plastic surgery or not, uh, but with plastic surgery, I feel like you really have to examine your own features and and try to, um, to, to refine and, and define the features that you already have. Yeah. And I feel like whenever people are trying to look like another specific person or something like that, I feel like they always, they never, because you're not meant to be them. You weren't born them, so you're not meant to look like them, so... You can always look like the best version of yourself, but I, I feel like trying to crush your features and squeeze your features into a an unnatural shape into somebody else's face. Into some, yeah, it, it always uh, looks off. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, that's nothing that I'd watch for. But I mean, if he's <laughs> actually talented, then that would be really interesting. I, I would, would be, be impressed. Yeah. yeah, if he can dance and sing, I would be impressed. Me too. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think. You guys, Ollie fans, what's his uh, fan base name? That's Does he true. got light I sticks? Know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ollie question. light sticks. Right. I mean, um, do you guys believe that he's even K-pop? You know, I, I don't know, think that. He, I feel like you can't really. How do you self-proclaim yourself K-pop? I don't know. Does he sing Korean? Um, I hope that he at least learns the language as well. If you're going to call yourself Korean pop music, then you should at least 
be very immersed in the culture. I don't know what the, I'm not a Korean person myself, mm-hmm. so I don't know what their requirements would be for, for somebody to be able to call themselves K-pop. That's true. If it, you know, and I know that there's a people, a, a couple of people who are really diehard, you know, K-pop into the culture and everything like that. And they're like, if you're not Korean, you have no business in K-pop. Even though there are a lot of um, people who contribute it to, to K-pop who are, who are Western and, you know, international. So, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting because then people could say, well, what about all the groups that feature non-Korean members? That's true. That does just it, make them less, like, K-pop, does it? Does it mean that you it have to be trained door. by a label in Korea and that makes, what legitimizes um, a, an artist and to be, to, to be able to be called a K-pop artist? Mm-hmm. I mean, also considering the fact that there's so many Western artists who write music for a lot of the k-pop groups before they get translated and and bought by the companies and everything so yeah this opens a whole nother door a whole nother discussion you can go deep yeah well we look forward to hearing to from you guys in the comments section below so make sure that you do comment with whatever you think about this mirror mirror song coming out yeah don't forget to like comment and please subscribe it helps the channel so much we'll see you in the next one so we went into the last part of this video blind we wanted to give ollie london a fair chance so we decided we would check out some of his music we found a video called perfection and it had gained a decent and a respectable 1.2 million views on YouTube, and that's a feat on its own. But we checked out the music itself, and it was objectively bad, if we're being honest. It was mostly auto-tuned, so vocals really weren't there. And lyricism was lacking. The only lyrics were really, I am perfection and some struggle Korean. And he didn't dance at all, so we still don't know where those skills lie. Who knows? He could be a great dancer. We don't know. (laughs) But really, it all begs the question, what did he expect to bring to the K-pop sphere? This seems like a really wasted opportunity, to be honest. He could have really combined elements from UK pop and and grime and combined that with elements of K-pop and created something really cool. Just like K-pop does with combining Western styles of music like rap and R&B, creating something inspired and, and all its own. It really seems like this guy is really trying to be in this industry for the aesthetics more so than the musicality. But I mean, to each their own, he can live his, I mean, live your life, honey, live your life. But with that being said, what are your guys' opinions? We really want to know. Um, Are you excited for his comeback? Will you be listening? Do you like his music? And if so, I mean, that would be really interesting to know why. (laughs) And if you don't like his music, feel free to say why in the comments too. We'll see you guys in the next video.